Good afternoon, friends. It's theCUBE live day one coverage Google Cloud Next 23 from Moscone South in sunny, I think, San Francisco. Lisa Martin here with my new co-host, Dustin Kirkland, CUBE analyst. Great to have you, Dustin. Happy to We've be got here. an alumni back. We always love welcoming our alumni back. John Purcell is here, Chief Product Officer at Do It International. Great to have you back. It's been a few months. Great to see you, Lisa. Nice to see you, too. And Dan Ferguson is here as well, Director of Strategic Partnerships at Glean. Great to have both of you. Excited to understand what Do It and Glean are doing together. Perfect, thanks for having us. So John, let's go ahead and start with you. Public cloud, hybrid cloud, because every customer is on a cloud journey at some different stage. But when we know that cloud is, and especially public cloud, here we are at Google, is, is really a key element to a really solid, successful, uh, IT strategy, but what do businesses need to know? What do they need to do to leverage public cloud really well so it drives business outcomes? Or move to the cloud, quite often there's maybe, um, they underappreciate the complexity associated with that because the value in the cloud, of course, with speed and agility and competitive edge are clear, they're well understood, but something happens along the way where you realize that there's an operational overhead associated with that. There are, you encounter hard problems, and if you, don't, if you don't pay attention to those very quickly, things like cost, for example, just run away, and you find yourself in, a, in an operationally a spot of bother, which is, which is really why, why Do It exists as a company, you know, we founded the company on a couple of basic principles that our goal is to have companies focus on what they do best, right? Focus on delivering the advantages they, they um, aim to achieve in the cloud and then help them with an integration of uh, human sort of based advisory and consultancy services coupled with techno advanced technology and the combination of those two things and the expertise to know how to apply them well can really set you on your way to achieve really why you chose to go there in the first place, which is, which is how we, we came first to meet Glean. Dan, give us a little bit of a backstory on Glean so the audience understands the type of business it is, what do you guys deliver to customers? Yeah, so Glean's an AI-powered workplace search application, and simply we help people find what they need across the workplace with all the different applications you use, all the content that you're using, even all the people that exist inside of a big organization. The number one complaint that we hear from companies is that it's very hard to find things, to, to get their jobs done, right? I'm sure you guys are nodding, you agree? Yep, yep, um, yep. A very, very common need, and people have tried to solve this with uh, different search approaches before, but no one has really created the Google for work. So that you get that same experience that the consumer does when they have a question and you want to know the population of California, you don't need to go into a library and look it up in a book anymore, you just Google it. So we're bringing that exact same work to, uh, experience into the workspace. We connect up all the applications to a central place where employees can go and search for information um, and find the answers they need really quickly. Um, and the legacy of the company is actually, our, our founders spent more than a decade at Google itself, and so they were working on search uh, in its infancy, along with all the other uh, great products that Google's brought to the market. Um, and our founder, Arvin Jane, went on to uh, co-found another company called Rubrik after that, and as Rubrik grew from about 1,000 to 3,000 employees rather rapidly, he kept hearing in these pulse surveys, I can't find anything, I don't know who to go to for questions, and productivity was kind of flatlining, even though he was adding more employees. And so for a search engineer to hear something like that, obviously it doesn't take him too long to, to go and get a really good team together and start to approach this challenge. And uh, yeah, we've been uh, really great to, to work with Do It to help us build up our, uh, our posture around security and our posture on the cloud. Because when we're talking about uh, creating a search index of all the company's information, uh, that's permissions aware, and um, there's a lot of uh, kind of sensitive and external content that we want to make sure that we're, we're keeping close track of. Someone like Do It is an expert in the cloud space that can help us skill up, has just been super valuable and uh, has definitely helped us to accelerate as uh, we've, we've built everything on Google and we're, we're continuing to, to innovate alongside Do It on there. What Excellent. are a few of the key uh, Google Cloud you know, products and technologies that you depend on and you, you, you build around? Yeah, I think we use just about the entire Google <laughs> Cloud stack. Um, things from the data flow uh, to Cloud SQL, um, everything is living in um, a project itself that's running all these services, uh, single tenant, so there's quite a lot of compute associated with Clean itself. 
Um, and I, I should call out most recently, we started to invest in building uh, Vertex AI and the Palm models into our product so that we started with this search platform, right? And it has a knowledge graph underneath it of everything that I can see at work versus what you can see and the activity associated with all that. But with that knowledge graph in place, we can start to bring in these, these generative AI models and then give people this experience that they're really looking for. I want to talk to a bot at work, I can ask it questions, it knows everything that I do or I should know, and then it can bring me back the information so I can go and get the things done I need to do. We, want, we have that expectation in our daily lives that we can just go on Google and find anything immediately. And if, it, if it's not fast enough, we churn. Right, Google doesn't have that problem. But from a company workforce perspective, you mentioned this, that can have a huge impact on, negative in, impact on productivity, which can have down, you know, spiraling effects to revenue, brand reputation, et cetera. John, talk a little bit about some of the challenges that Glean had from your lens that Do It really came in and said, we got this, partnering with Google and Glean, we can really dial down the complexities here and allow you to leverage public cloud in a way that's really effective. Sure, yeah, so, so do it, uh, you know, I think over the years has, we found ourselves working a lot with companies who are poised for growth or are sort of transitioning through that significant growth phase and Glean was, was in that exact position, so they were a perfect partner for us. And I should share that we're actually a heavy users of Glean within the company, so we see all of the advantages that, that Dan was describing. But uh, you know, Dan touched on the, the, the broad catalog of Google services being used across their solution, which again makes them a perfect partner for us to really work with. We spend a, a, a tremendous amount of time making sure that the people, the, the people who work at Doit, can stay ahead of the cloud technology, can keep up with the evolution of services and tech, especially this year with, with Gen AI sort of emerging as a real sort of practical use case. And so the, the advantage of that is we can work right where the specific problem space is happening at these companies. Of course, it's wrapped in a cost optimization sort of consideration, and of course that's most often what companies want to start with. But when we're, when we're making decisions around scalable architecture, secure, you know, deployment of applications, we find ourselves covering the gamut of use cases there, as, and we did so with Glean. Yeah, and we were lucky to work with them because um, we've grown rather rapidly. When I joined in October 21, I think I was employee 40 or so, and now wow. we're well over 250. And so, being able to have someone that understands the cloud and how to leverage all those services, it can be an advisory role, has been awesome as our team grows, and especially like our cloud team grows out to manage all the infrastructure. And then I should add on the other side, we, uh, we got listed in the GCP marketplace through the partnership and it was, it was really good because then we're not just impacting the engineering side of the house, but then also the go to market side can really understand the value of the cloud and how to sell into commits and how to uh, create kind of unified billing situations and so that, that's been really good to our partnership. Did you guys start with a phased approach and if so, what did that look like, Dan? Uh, well, I think because our team, well, so many engineers that came over from Google, uh, a lot of them knew the products that they could pull off the shelf and, and put into the product at the right point. Um, I'd say it, probably the phased approach that we did was building search first and then building generative AI capabilities on it. Uh, that gave us a really good, uh, well, we were lucky that generative AI came out and we were perfectly positioned with search and these knowledge graphs built at each company. But then being able to almost go into a war room style situation where we're taking our best engineers and best product managers, literally locking them in a room and saying, we need to build a generative AI solution that comes out in June. And so being able to rely on you know, the experts that do it to make sure that we're using the resources and using each of the services, um, one, to the rest of the ability, but two, in a cost efficient manner was very important because uh, we raised uh, quite a bit of capital from some tier one VCs but we're certainly um, in the mindset of being capital conscious and making sure that our money can go the long way uh, throughout our journey because uh, situations like this come up and we can build, but then if we have someone to turn to that can help us, it, it just makes it go that much further. And that's critical, right? Being yeah. able to extend that. Uh, yes, and also being able, it sounds like you have the ability to scale you know, almost in, in infinitely between having a, a partner like Do It and Google Cloud behind you as a startup. I mean, that, that's not something uh, you know, startups 15, 20 years ago were blessed with necessarily, right? Yeah, and when we started out, right, the cost to run Glean within a GCV project, the compute was quite significant. 
right? We could see it be up to 30, 40% of the actual cost of the product mm -hmm. itself. Yep. And so companies needed to understand that they were getting something valuable through Glean and they were willing to pay a little bit extra on Google Cloud to, to make it work within their instance. Um, that's, that's come down quite significantly as we started to use different services at Google, as we just optimized our costs, um, as well as leveraging things like Kubernetes. And so then we can get to that infinite scaling situation where you know, we're working with very, very large telcos and broadcast companies um, which have you know, hundreds of millions of documents, if not more, and we're able to build that into a, an index that is, is reasonable with the kind of level of effort and the level of value that they're looking to get out of a productivity project like that. Yeah, I think you get the sense from talking, you know, listening to Dan, right? The, the, a, a very sophisticated, advanced user of Google Cloud, and this is, you know, this is sort of a perfect type of relationship for do it to build with a customer. We work extremely hard to ensure that when a company like Lean encounters that hard problem where they need a little bit of help, to your point, uh, Dustin, about infinite scale, that we're ready to answer it and we have accuracy and we have the correct answer and we can sort of, we can go co-pilot um, the answer to, yeah. you know, to, to, to kind of deliver that, that scale they're looking for. So it's been, it's been a productive relationship. Sounds like a very symbiotic relationship. We thank you so much for joining us, sharing with us. I get the name now, Glean, right? When you said search, I'm like, I get it. That's a fantastic name. But great synergistic, symbiotic partnership between Do It and Glean, really enabling the workforce to be so much more productive and of course powered by Google. Guys, it's been great to have you on. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank, thank you. you, Lisa. Thank you, Justin. Our thank pleasure. You. For our guests and Dustin Kirkland, I'm Lisa Martin, and you're watching theCUBE. We're about to take a short break, but we'll come back with more great content for the rest of the day. And don't forget, keep it right here on theCUBE.net for all on-demand content. SiliconAngle.com is where you come in all the editorial. We'll see you in a few minutes. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage.